Hi, how are you today? Welcome back to your biology and geology course for the fourth of ESO. Today we are going to start our unit about ecosystems and environmental factors. I hope you can enjoy this, so let's get started today. Hi there, welcome back to our biology and geology course. Okay, So we are going to start with unit 6. This is about ecosystems and environmental factors. Uh, I made this unit using the, the contents from the book of Anaya for the force of ESO and also the context from OpenStax universities. Okay? So uh, the very first that I wanted to, to, to do for you is uh, uh, to comment this outline about the unit. Okay? So we're going to talk about ecosystems which are formed by two components, two different components, the biosynosis and the biotope. Okay? The biotope is uh, are the components that are not living or okay? are not uh, they, they they haven't got life okay so um, the, the biosynthesis on the on the other hand are the living things that compose the ecosystems okay so they both of them have some interactions okay because sometimes I, I don't know um, a living a living being can interact with their environment or with its environment. Okay, and sometimes the environment can affect the, the this living being. Okay, so they have interactions uh, between them, and also the uh, the animals or the living beings that are composed of biosynthesis could interact uh, within each other. Okay, so another thing uh, just to take into account is that the biosynthesis is determined by the environmental factors. Okay. The environmental factors are so related with the biotope, okay? Because uh, depending on the environment, you can find different kinds of living beings on it, okay? So these uh, environmental factors can be classified in two types, two types, okay? Abiotic, a temperature, light, disponibility of light, availability of light, sorry, um, oxygen, in, uh, dissolved in water, okay? So many kinds of factors, okay? But uh, sometimes they could be biotic. Okay, uh, when we are considering biotic uh, biotic factors, we can say or we can be talking about how the living beings interact between each other. Okay, uh, if they interact between uh, the um, the individuals that belongs to to the same population. Okay, uh, a population is is a group of organisms that belongs to the same species. Okay. So in this case, we can be talking about intraspecific interactions, okay? Interactions between organism, organisms that belong to the same species. And on the other hand, we have the intraspecific relations or interactions, okay? Uh, these are relations between individuals that belong to different species, okay? And also, and also the environmental factors, depending on, on which kind of environmental factor we are talking about we have to consider the tolerance limits for that kind of environmental factor because this is going to affect the living being okay and a specific living being yeah so uh, if you if you understood this i think we can follow with the with the next slide okay but we talk about ecosystem but we don't know what is a what our ecosystem is okay so let's take a look Okay. Uh, firstly, ecology. What is ecology? Because sometimes we, we hear about it. So, ecology is the study of the interactions of living organisms with their environment. Okay. So, uh, one goal of ecology is to understand the distribution and abundance of living things in the physical environment. Okay. So we are to, we are going to talk about I don't know foxes in their forest, uh, how how they live there, how they interact with this, with it, uh, with its other, how they interact with other species. Okay. So this is the this is the goal of, of ecology is to understand how the ecosystem works. Okay. How the ecosystem works. So uh, attainment to this goal uh, requires the integration of scientific disciplines inside and onset of biology, for example, mathematics, statistics, a lot, biochemistry, molecular biology, physical evolution, uh, physiological evolution, biodiversity, geology, and climatology. Okay, so ecology comprises a, a, a lot of different kinds of science because it's 
uh, the study of ecosystem maybe is the most complicated thing that you can ever do, uh, you can ever done in your lives. Okay, so this is the <coughs> this is the, the thing. Okay, the main purpose for ecology. So the levels of study for ecology, okay, is, are these ones. Okay, we're going to talk about an organism. Okay, for example, in a forest, each spine is considered as a as an organism. Okay. We are talking about a single living being. Okay. In populations, together all the all the pine trees make up a population. Okay, so a tree, a forest of of pines, uh, it's considered as a population. A community, all the plants and animals, uh, species that live in in the forest, okay, comprises a community. Okay, so we're considering different populations uh, from that belong to different species. Okay, and all together they form a, a community. Okay, so if you consider some uh, communities, okay, you form an ecosystem. For example, this coastal ecosystem in the southern of the United States includes living organisms and the environment in which they live. Okay, so it is a, another step. Okay, it's something bigger and, and uh, something which is formed by different kinds of communities. Okay, this is an ecosystem. So if you take into account of the, all, all of these levels, it's quite complicated to understand how an ecosystem works. Okay, and if you consider all the ecosystems uh, that we have on, on the earth, okay, uh, this is called the biosphere. Okay, so let's continue with this. Uh, now we're going to put focus on ecosystems, okay? So, ecosystem is a system formed by a group of organisms of different species. This is called the biocenosis, okay? The biocenosis, uh, as, as, we, as we mentioned uh, before, are the living organisms that uh, belong to a specific ecosystem, okay? So, uh, and, uh, and the physical or chemical characteristics of the environment in which they live are cons is considered the biotope, okay? So we are considering for an ecosystem, biosynosis, living beings, a biotope, a physical or chemical characteristics, and also, and also, and this is important not to forget this, and also the interactions that are established between them, okay? This is quite important. So, uh, let's continue. Okay, this is another diagram about an ecosystem. Okay, this is a lake. So, we are separating the components of this ecosystem in the biotope. Okay, here we have the water, okay, the air, uh, the ground. Okay, so it is, uh, the biotope is formed in this case by the environment. Okay, the water, for example, water. Okay, and the substrate, the bottom of the lake. Okay, the substrate. And on the other hand, the biosynthesis of this ecosystem is composed by the ducks, the fishes, the birds, okay, the plants, and the algae which live inside okay, the, the lake. Okay, this, uh, this is the biosynthesis for this ecosystem. And is formed by the different populations that live in the ecosystem. Okay? So I think this is a clear example, just to understand what, what we are talking about here today. Okay, so um, environmental factors and their impact. Okay, uh, what, what are environmental factors? Okay, they are the components of the ecosystem, as we saw uh, just a couple of, of, of seconds before. Components of the ecosystem that have an impact on the biosynthesis through their presence or variation. Okay, so factors. What 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 uh, what, did, uh, what factors determine? Okay, firstly, the distribution and composition of the biosynthesis. In other words, the type of and the number of population that make up. Okay. A population, remember, is a group of organisms uh, from that belong to the same species. Okay. Uh, secondly, how many organisms are present in a population? Uh, uh, okay, how many organisms? Uh, the population is is too big or is too small? Okay, we, we can consider this just for analyzing how an ecosystem works. Okay, we have to take care about the living beings on it, and also and also the adaptation of the organisms for that kind of environment. Okay, 
So because not all the organisms adapt the same way to the to the same factors. Okay, we are talking about environmental factors. Okay, so but uh, we are going to take a closer look at this, and with this we are going to finish the class of today. Okay, so let's begin. Oh wow, look at this, it's enormous, okay? We've got the world here. I'm opening the Google Earth uh, application, okay, uh, for desktops. And uh, let's take a look at this, uh, what we commented about the environmental factors here, okay? So, we're here, of course. Hi, Spain. How, how are you? Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> I'm here in my at home just for not getting the coronavirus. Oh my dear, what a pity. So, but we'll, we have to continue the classes. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Okay, we can appreciate some differences here. Yes, in okay, just uh, with a, a closer look, we can see what is this and what what is what, where is the the, the, where are the plants here? Okay, because if I take a closer look at the, this is a desert. Okay, okay, I cannot see any plant here. Yes, just only a bit of them. Oh, well, a couple of trees here in a path uh, on the desert. Okay, but anything else? Okay, okay, come back again to my world, but. If I go to the equator, I can see different things, okay? If I take a closer look here, I can see a lot of trees, okay, a big, very huge forests. Oh, wait, this is, oh, some ruins here? <laughs> oh, no, this is, uh, okay, these are crops. So, a lot of vegetation here, okay, a lot of plants and forests. Look at this, okay. These are huge ecosystems formed by a lot of different species of plants and also different species of animals that we can appreciate here. Okay, oh, this is a, oh, a river, okay, another different kind of ecosystem. Okay, so come back again, come back again, again, okay. So depending on, on the latitude, we can find different kinds of ecosystems, okay. Now we're here in Spain, uh, I'm going to the Arctic, I can look at, okay, uh, at Greenland here, oh, glaciers here everywhere, but there is no, I can see, any plant here okay the ecosystems are totally different here so for what we have this difference okay this is just for the av availability of water okay we have high pressures this is a belt of high pressures here in the troposphere which is a layer that belongs to our atmosphere okay and these high pressures avoid the okay the clouds with the with the water okay there is no rain here just because of the high pressures in the in the atmosphere and here in Spain okay wow oh. here in Spain okay let's let's take a look hey for Labrada okay where am I I I'm I'm looking something interesting here oh wait ah our high school okay uh, this is uh, the high school core uh, Joaquin Araujo in Folabrada and we can see that the ecosystem, these are olive trees, okay, uh, a huge area full of olive trees here, a park, but the rest of the ecosystems are fields uh, full of crops and nothing remarkable, nothing else. Okay, but here we have a river, again this river has its own vegetation, okay. So human being affect uh, and alter the all the ecosystems, okay? As we can we can find here. Okay, so the availability of rain and the temperatures, okay, because we don't have the, the same temperatures here that in, in the north, okay? Uh, we can appreciate this, for example, in Norway, okay, there is a 
okay the, there is a huge difference okay this is just because the availability of light rain or water okay and and that that's it okay for for terrestrial ecosystems and for marine ecosystems is totally different okay because the light is more important for example than water uh, obviously okay so these environmental factors could affect the distribution of the ecosystems through the world throughout the world okay so uh, that's it that's that's the closer look that i want to show you for this class Thank you for being there and in the next class we are going to talk about the types of the environmental factors more deeply and also the tolerant ranges and limiting factors and how they affect the living beings. Okay, that's all folks. With this we finish for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to be aware of the next classes. So I see you in the next class. See you!